Beautiful Arslan, we are along the coast of Maine. Our engines are shut in nice and steady. What speed is it doing? Look at this way, I can't hear, sorry. Five, five knots. Wow, so five knots under the wind only, no engines. I think I can cross the Atlantic Ocean, but I don't have much food and water, that's the problem. How about my three sails up? Wow, beautiful. Are you happy now? Yeah. Proper sailing. Yeah, this is proper sailing. No more motoring. For two, three days we have burned so much fuel. Yeah. I don't want to burn any more diesel. No fossil fuels. We need to protect the world. Beautiful speed. What speed is it now? 5.1. Very good. I think that's a great speed. Once, once we start turning, because wind, we are still going into the wind. Yeah, so once we have a next alter course a little more to starboard, wind will be going to beam or just above the beam and then we'll be doing up even better speed, maybe seven knots. Yeah. Okay, let's keep going then. July the 4th, 2024. Happy Republic Day. This is unplanned stop. This is Richmond Island, just south of uh, South Portland, still in Maine. And I had to emergency divert. There was very heavy rolling and pitching, and suddenly I heard a big bang noise. And my wind turbine, I saw next time, it has come off. Look at that. Or did you fix it? Now I have to climb up and take it down completely. My wind turbine is hanging. Now what happened today? So, it was quite rough. If you look up there, the wind turbine came loose and it's just dangling actually. It's held in um, by the one rope and then the rest is just cable. So dad's gonna climb up. Okay, daddy's gonna climb up and take it. We still had about 30 miles to go further south. We were going to Cape Natick, I think, or Natick, Natick, I think. Just north of uh, York Harbor. So we were, our aim was to go to York Harbor tonight, about 6 o'clock, and uh, around 12 o'clock, or half past 12, we heard a bang. Banging now because the boat was rolling and pitching hard, and because there was big waves coming from the south. Maybe effective for those hurricanes in the south. But anyway, and suddenly I heard a big bang noise, and we turned around and I looked up, and my wind turbine was hanging. I don't know if you can see in the sun, but... Uh, I'm gonna go up and uh, put my safety harness. I have a safety belt and I'll put my safety belt. I'll take my rope, I'll cut it up from there. This wire I will I'll cut or undo it, whatever. I will check. Then I'll lower it. It's very heavy, but we have to lower it. So this was our emergency refuge. My safety harness is on and I'm gonna climb up the mast. Luckily, I put steps last year. Otherwise, I would have to do the Cusick Knot is called. Cusick Knot is where you climb on the hills <laughs> by tying yourself with a wire and going up. But I don't fancy that lifting my own weight on a Cusick Knot. Cusick knot. No rush, Kilby, just take your time. Yeah. Yeah. You're just over, just about halfway to the turbine. Right underneath the uh, radar. Anyway, you know the protocol for all emergency services? Yeah. What channel? 16. Yeah. And what do you say? Mayday, mayday. Yeah, mayday, mayday. And position where we are, Richmond Island. Inshallah, nothing will happen. Okay. But you should know because uh, it's your first time. Okay, you got the radar is right above you. Yeah. Thank you. 
Yeah. The steps? Yeah, yeah, I can see. So you feel more uh, roll here, I think. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I'm tied up right at the mizzen mast. I'm not hanging myself, sorry. <laughs> Basically, my wind turbine's uh, post rotted out within one year. That uh, I'm going to complain to Shining Waters in uh, uh, Cantillon, Halifax guys, because it was not a marine grade uh, material. They very quickly ordered and uh, they put it on. But look at this. I was at sea there five miles away, five miles from the coast going towards York, uh, south, of, south, uh, south of Portland. So this little island is called uh, Richmond Island. So that's a Richmond Island. So immediately I found a refuge because there was a bit of heavy swell and rolling and pitching. And uh, luckily I have my son Arslan with me. On that side is Portland. So I'm just south of Portland. And I'm climbing up my ladder. He's sitting there. What gives me an opportunity to view my sailing vessel Nassim <laughs> right from the top of the mizzen mast. Luckily, I had uh, put these steps also. With these steps, it has made me a little bit easier to climb up here. So, this is the view of my sailing vessel Nassim <laughs> from a mizzen mast. Okay. It's nice and calm and beautiful refuge. Coincidentally, I found it. And this is my uh, little tool bag. And Aslan is sitting there. Okay, Aslan, sir, I'm coming down now. Yeah? I'll put my phone in my pocket. Beautiful view from here. Yeah, I can see whole of the world. Yeah, across the Atlantic, there's England. Yeah, there's your popo in. Uh, your cousin's there. And I can see your mama in Calgary. <laughs> Do you believe me? <laughs> okay, coming down. So since uh, we had to stop here, unplanned, this was an unplanned stop in Richmond Island, because this stupid turbine broke down. Watch your legs, you don't want to work. So it's a beautiful day. I'm gonna lower my uh, tender, thingy, And we'll go to the beach. Well, since we have unplanned uh, stopover, so we are not doing an unplanned beach visit. <laughs> I've taken my, uh, what is called, the, I've taken the wind turbine down south of uh, South Portland in Maine. Yeah. All these boats arrived after we arrived here. We were the first one today. 